In this video, we're going to take a look at if statements in Python. These allow us to conditionally execute code, depending on whether something is true or false. Let's start off this program by getting the name from the user. So I'm going to say here, name equals input, and enter your name. Now we'll use that in a minute, but first we'll tackle something a little bit simpler. So I'm going to type if. If is a key word in Python. It's part of the Python language. After if, I'm going to leave a space. And for the moment, let's type here true. Don't forget you need a capital letter. And after that, we're going to type a colon immediately after the true. Now we go to the next line. Now notice when I go to the next line, Let's try that again. Visual Studio Code, or at least the Python plugin, automatically puts my cursor somewhat indented. Underneath this, the if statement, we need to indent code to say that the code that we're typing is now part of the if statement. Its execution will be controlled by the if statement. So here, I've got actually four spaces. And you can see that these are actually four spaces because there are four dots there. If you don't see that, there is a setting in one of these menus, which on my system, on my version of Visual Studio Code is in the View menu and Appearance, called Render White Space. If you've got that turned on, it will replace spaces with dots. So you can see when I go to the next line here, Visual Studio Code, automatically puts four spaces here. We need those four spaces to tell Python that what I'm about to type should be controlled by the if statement. Let's write here print true, just to print something out. Now notice this isn't the Boolean value true, it's just a string that says true. It's just some text enclosed in double quotes. I can write anything I want there, it doesn't matter. I just want to print something to see if it actually runs. And then underneath that, let's go down a bit further, and I'm going to erase those four white spaces with the back key and write print, let's say program finished. Now let's run this and see what happens. It says enter your name. I'm going to write John, because that's my name. And then it says true and program finished. So it is actually doing this print. It's doing the print because this is true. If I write false here and I run it, let's write my name. It doesn't print true anymore because the condition is false. So you can see that this if statement is conditionally controlling whether this code is executed or not. Now, even to get this to work is a little bit tricky. You absolutely need to practice it. You need to have the colon there, remember, and you need to have four spaces here. In fact, if you actually want to put those four spaces in yourself, the easiest thing to do in Visual Studio Code and probably most editors is just to use the tab key. And notice that Visual Studio Code turns my tab into four spaces. This is controlled from the settings in Visual Studio Code. If I go to the Preferences menu, which on my version of code is in the Code menu, and I go to Settings, I can search for something like Space Tab, and we can see we've got a setting here, Insert Spaces when pressing Tab, and that's turned on. So you want that to be turned on. There's also this Detect Indentation setting, I've apparently got that turned off, but the replacement of tabs with spaces is working, so I'm content with my settings. In Python, indentation is used to indicate a block of code that may be controlled by some statement, for example, like an if statement. You don't have to use four spaces, but whatever you start off using in your program for indentation, you have to then consistently use it in the rest of that file, otherwise you'll get an error in Python. 
So I could decide that I want to use three spaces or I want to use a tab, an actual tab, and that would work. But the most common convention is probably to use four spaces. And that's why Visual Studio Code here is indenting my print statement by four spaces. Let's go back to the settings again. So I'm going to go to Code Preferences Settings. Might be in a different menu on your version of code. And if I search again for tab space, we can see here that the tab size is set to four and that's controlling how many spaces a tab is turned into if I use a tab there instead. So I would suggest that you want this to be set to four. If you're getting a tab replaced by two spaces or something, I don't think that's really enough. It looks a bit messy. I would change this setting to four. And whichever editor you're using, if it's a programmer's editor, it's going to have settings like these. So now let's change this program to something a little bit more interesting. Let's change this Boolean here, this condition, to name equals equals, and I'm going to type John because that is my name. You can put what you want there. And now let's run the program. So it says enter your name, and if I type John, it's going to output true. Let's put something more descriptive in there. Your name is John. <laughs> like this. Okay, now we'll try it again. Enter your name, John, and it says your name is John, and then program finished. Notice that program finished is not part of this if statement because it's not indented, so this will always run. But this bit will only run if this condition evaluates to true. Let's try it again, and this time enter some other name. And now we don't get this printing because the condition evaluated to false. You can put more lines in here if you want. They all have to be indented, and they have to be indented by the same number of spaces that you previously used in the program. Let's try print hello. And now, so if I enter something that isn't my name, so the condition's false, then that stuff doesn't print. But if I enter John, it prints. And again, program finished always prints because it's not indented, so it's not part of this code block, which is controlled by the if statement. Try this out for yourself. It is a little bit tricky to get right when you first do it. You've got to get that indentation right. There mustn't be any indentation anywhere else in your program because we don't want anything else to be indented in this particular program. And you've got to have that colon there, remember. I like to leave a blank line after my if statements, but it doesn't actually make any difference. Let's type John. You can see it works the same as before. But that blank line, I think, helps make it clearer which bit is the actual if statement. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and Machine Learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.